Here are five things to avoid at Rice University. Parking on campus without a clear parking permit. Most Rice students have had a run with the police, that is, with the Rice University Police Department. Officers are fairly cool about mostly everything, but the one thing they're sure to crack down on is illegal parking. Don't ever do it. You will run a fine of up to $75 per citation and be annoyed with yourself for the rest of the day. We all know that's not worth the hassle. Baker 13 Runners On the 13th of every month and sometimes on the 31st or the 26th on particular months or occasions, anywhere from 2 to 200 Rice students strip down to nothing, grab a few cans of shaving cream, and streak around campus late at night. Yes, they run everywhere and they leave no building unmarked. Many bring extra cans of shaving cream with them to spray on buildings. Others just learn to mosey up to unexpecting students walking back from the library and douse them with shaving cream the personal way. Friday night dinners at the servery. Rice students refer to the cafeterias as serveries. I'll be the first to say that servery food is actually awesome and I mean that. As someone who's no longer in school, I don't have someone cooking spaghetti and meatballs for me every night anymore and I no longer have fresh, hot cinnamon rolls to look forward to on Wednesday nights. With all that in mind, I will say that servery food on Friday nights is something to definitely avoid. While our chefs typically bring their A-game for Friday lunch, dinner is a different story. It's a little like the chefs just want to go home already. Not signing up for classes as soon as your registration block opens. Rice students sign up for classes in one of four waves based on when they matriculated and what their student status is. Each semester, the Office of the Registrar determines the exact time that students can begin filling their schedules with requested courses. You must drop everything you're doing and log on to your student account online if you want a seat in that ever-popular Chemistry of Cooking class. Delaying talking to the Center for Career Development until the last minute. The Rice Center for Career Development can get a bad rep with students. They only help students get engineering jobs. I'm an English major. They can't help me. Companies at the career fair weren't recruiting for freshmen, so I don't need to go back until I'm a senior. Thinking like this is problematic. The CCD can help polish your resume over a lunchtime editing session or help you prepare for summer internships with a mock interview session. They'll even offer to videotape you so you can see all the habits and tics you have when interviewing. So for more tips and tricks on colleges and universities, check out our website.